<sighs> okay, so three, two, one, let's go. Good day, and um, welcome to another one of Lucky Luck Luke's tutorials, class uh, class tutorials for Sword of the Stars of the Pit. So my name is, as I just mentioned, Lucky Luck Luke, and uh, you can catch me on Twitch, on Twitch TV slash Lucky Luck Luke 2, it's 2 at the end. And uh, yeah, so I've done a few uh, class tutorials so far, so today we're going to be doing the Leer, the Seeker. Um, so as you can see, the Seeker starts with a melee weapon. Uh, the Seeker's melee weapon is a tentacle whip, which is quite powerful. It misses quite a bit, but it's actually very powerful, so if you need to, you know, uh, save ammunition or, or whatever, um, you can often rely on the tentacle whip. So I should probably talk more general about the the class here. Uh, Seeker, the strongest thing about Seeker is that it has access to a whole whack of very powerful sonic abilities right off the beginning. Most namely, I think, is Shrapnel Storm, uh, also Fear. Shrapnel Storm will deal some damage and paralyze the target, and it cannot fail. So it's a, a guaranteed paralyze, which is extremely valuable. Um, Fear is also another way to paralyze your targets, so you have a lot of ways to incapacitate your targets uh, as long as you get the first shot on them. And uh, really high resistance, extremely high psi points, very high psi regen. So uh, we'll continue talking about the strengths of the Seeker. Um, yeah, uh, the Seeker also has a lot of access, uh, well, actually, poor. Also has very high uh, reduction skill, so metabolic control is right around the corner. So food is not a huge deal on the uh, Leer. It can be a problem. Uh, they recently, well, not recently, but it used to be, be that it wasn't a problem at all. But uh, they changed it so that the Leer's um, food consumption rate is higher. Um, the Leer also starts the Darter, which is you know a pretty decent like pistol-like weapon. Um, works pretty good. Shoot this bat here, about 12 damage. It's not bad at all. Um, you won't actually won't be using it that much, to be honest with you, with your access to such uh, a fast array of uh, psionic skills. So the uh, leader also starts with a lot of insta healing. I don't know if I already mentioned that, but uh, has starts the Tarkov kit and also a bunch of med patches and. 99% because the medical skill is super high, so it's a very high medical skill. Starts with antibiotics, uh, immunojolt, which is uh, another disease protection thing, and a decent amount of food. Delicious food, seafood platter, um, which also, I think this removes poison and uh, radiation, so you have a way to cure poison. Uh, I know the, the one sea cucumber also cures poison, so a way to cure poison. And also, if for some reason you run out of ways to cure poison and disease, you have access to cure. So disease and poison is kind of not an issue on this character. Um, what's another? Uh, we'll go over the stats a bit. So pretty low might, uh, extremely high brains and power, which makes you very resistant to sonic attacks. Decent finesse. Um, has a high decipher skill, so good for if you're trying to uh, unlock messages. It's pretty good. What's the decipher skill? Decipher 70. Uh, yeah, that's very high. Uh, the weapon skills are actually pretty good, despite being, you know, a tentacle beast. Heavy weapon skill, don't ask me why that's high, because I don't even know if you have the opportunity to use heavy weapons at all. Uh, maybe a flamethrower or something. So there are a few. But assault weapon, 45, it's decent. Rifle, pistol, you know, pretty good uh, weapon skills. Um, another uh, thing, good thing about the uh, Leer is that the Leer actually floats, so you are immune to floor traps, which is good, because... You have very low health pool, uh, like you have a very low health pool. So, uh, if you stepped on a mine trap on this character, it would probably simply kill you. So I got pretty unlucky here, and I got two lamprey hawks. Um, on this difficulty, these could easily kill me, especially since my TK fist was down. The uh, leer also starts with the Ima, which is a spear that uses shotgun shells. Um, which is uh, it's pretty powerful, but it's kind of weird that he uses shotgun shells. It's which is fine, unless you find a shotgun. So if you find a shotgun, you probably want to ditch this thing. Um, 
Yeah, so that's a lot about the strengths of the... Oh, actually, I haven't talked about the moisture suit here. Uh, one of the unique things about the... Um, once you take the moisture suit on, you'll, you'll see that you have a hydration bar. So the Leer has to keep itself hydrated, or else once it gets to zero, you don't die. But you start taking a bit of damage. It's not... It's like one per turn, which isn't really a big deal. Uh, it can add up. But it's, it's one per turn, and... Uh, so you kind of want to, it becomes a bit of a problem. Um, so you want to try to manage your hydration, moisture suit. Pretty much want to try to not wear it because one of the big weaknesses of the Leer is that it can wear very little armor. There's very little armor that I can can use. Maybe like six or seven suits of armor in the entire game. Maybe maybe even less than that. Um, no, that sounds about right. Anyways, the Leer also has extremely low... Um, Extremely low health pool. Starts with 35, so I'm going to level up here just to show. show. Um, I think he gets 12 health points per level, which is, I think, the lowest. I believe that's the lowest. So, very squishy space dolphin. Um, upon level, you get 2 stat points, 5 skill points, which isn't too bad. Uh, it's very well rounded, so probably want to put that in might. Um, just to be able to carry more things, whenever the other stat seems to be pretty decent. Um, but I, uh, this is the class that I have played probably the least. Yeah, I probably have played this class the least. So my strategies with it is not too powerful, too great. But, um, so I'll, let's just think of to what I would like to level up here. Um, so reduction is a must. You want to get uh, metabolic control unlocked as soon as possible. The Space Dolphin starts with pretty high manifestation skill. I hate the, I hate the manifestation tree because uh, I really don't like the duplication skill. It just doesn't feel correct to me in a roguelike. But if you haven't played the class yet, definitely go for it just to try it out. Fire is a lot of fun though. Mana will give you a bit of food uh, production, so it's pretty good. Um, I mean, I, I could just go up to fire and stop there, which I might do. Um, yeah, I'm also a big fan of Reflect. Um, that's probably something I would like to unlock. Um, so we're going to go Resistance. And uh, I think Mech Empathy, it's going to take a long time. It starts very low, but even, it's going to take a long time to unlock Sabotage. But when you do unlock it, it's super worth it. Um, so I think it's this is debatable if it's worth the investment. may not be, um, so not too sure about that strategy. But I think it's worth going for, just for the, how powerful it is. Uh, and we've got two still skill points. War Mind, I wouldn't bother. Uh, it's way too low. Um, so I think you could go Manifestation. Uh, we'll go for it for now. Why not? And your last point, probably once you get Forging to 45, you want to put a few points into Forging. What else would you want to put points into? Um, probably the rest would be like Mechanical Skill, maybe a few Computer Skills. Uh, actually, I don't know if you need computer skills. It's very dependent on what tools you find. But uh, try to not put points into anything that's not 45 yet. But yeah, so if you put a few points into your psionics, and then the other points, maybe a few into forging, and then I would put like a few into mechanical once once it's at 45. And then probably at that point, you'll be done leveling up. Uh, you probably will stop putting points into like a few of your psionics. Like uh, redaction, you'll stop putting points. You'll have more points available later on. So with those last few points, I would probably put them into like uh, rifle skill, maybe assault weapon skills. You find a good assault weapon, um, yeah, probably, probably uh, something like that. Like I've beaten the Leer on hard, so I'm not completely inexperienced with it. I played very little of it of insane, and uh, because I simply do not like the class. Um, now the reason I do not like the class, I think I already mentioned it, is that you. Oh no, I didn't mention it. Um, you start with such high psionic skills that you you don't really need to find anything. Um, you can almost get through the entire game with your psionics alone. So you can just go around like with you know you got to be smart about it, of course. But you don't really need to like find anything, which is what I like about you know roguelikes in general. Um, you every time you get to a, like a weapons locker or, you're, or an armor locker, well, this character I guess armor lockers you'd be somewhat excited, but the odds are it's not going to be something you can use. But you know you get excited. It's like what the hell is going to be in here? I hope I can open it. But this character you're just kind of like don't care because <laughs> you got the tools you need right at the beginning of the game almost to finish it. You just got to get through it, and I don't really like that style of play. 
but it's a great character for learning how to use psionics, uh, deciphering messages. So it's, if you're a new player, I highly recommend this class. So, um, yeah, one of the weaknesses of this class is that it has pretty low inventory space. So this fills up pretty quick, especially because you have high foraging and high skills in general. So you'll find a lot of stuff. So you're you're going to struggle with your inventory management very quickly. Um, this class has very high racial penalties if you do find weaponry. Um, so that becomes a problem. Uh, problem with this class as well. Uh, usually I would not just go straight to the next floor, but for this tutorial we're just going to do that. Uh, but I suggest you m make sure you completely explore the first floor every time. Because you get a lot of a, uh, amazing tools and food right on the first floor. But uh, just for tutorial's sake, we're just going to go to the next floor. One big tip I can give you is don't be stingy with your health. Keep it keep it high. Keep it full. Um, because you can easily die to a robot, mostly. Robots will simply uh, annihilate you. Um, the Space Dolphin, the Leer, I should say. <laughs> I just like calling it Space Dolphin. So it's a very li low melee skill. So it takes a while for your tentacle to stop missing. But uh, so that's a good reason to um, to uh, start spamming it early. You will feel my power. Uh, huge racial penalties. Uh, one big thing that the leer cannot uh, that's bad about the leer is that uh, it cannot use the adamantium claws, which is a very important melee weapon. So I think it's the only class that simply cannot use them. So that's actually a pretty uh, big uh, disadvantage in the late game. But it takes a long time for that to be kind of important. Um, did I talk about pain? No, I don't think I talked about pain. So let's see if this does take off poison. Yeah, it does take off poison. A few levels of poison. So the whip, um, the whip has a chance to inflict the, the pain effect. Uh, what the pain effect does is uh, it removes there it happened there it removes uh, any psionic buffs that the class has that the character has and it also uh, prevents it from casting future psionics which can be pretty useful um, is there anything else I could talk about strategy for this class um, Not really much else to say about this class is keep your health up, keep your health up to full. Um, you know, uh, keep your make sure your armor doesn't get destroyed. Try to save it for like fighting robots, especially. Um, uh, use like psi armor if you're expecting to fight robots. Um, oh, I can give you guys a, I can show you the the strategy with invisibility. It says invisibility is a bit uh, underrated. Um, so let's just try to get to the next floor and I'll show you a pretty neat strategy for invisibility. Probably the best use of it. It doesn't have many uses, but uh, that'll be one of the uses. So let's just try to hurry up and get to the next floor. So usually how you die in this game, one of the ways you die a lot for all classes is when you start a new floor. Starting a new floor is very dangerous because, um, you know, th th there may be more monsters aggroed than you can handle. Um, so it's often a good idea to put your armor on before you start the next floor. Um, pretty cool little tip for these uh, brood mothers. You don't want to you don't want to kill them right away. Um, you generally, want to let her spawn all of the rats because the rats can often drop food. So you uh, you want to let the uh, rats spawn, and then once she's done spawning all the rats, you want to kill her. But for tutorial's sake, we're just going to kill her right now. So this class gets uh, XP pretty quick. Uh, as you can see, I'm already leveled up. Alright. So, before you, uh, a pretty cool strat you can do with invisibility. It does cost a lot. Um, especially with the recent Psy nerfs. But anyways. So if you cast invisibility and then start a new floor... <clears throat> This is uh, pretty awesome that it's like this. Usually, if I didn't have his invisibility on, as soon as I, you know, attack something, 
then all the mobs would come after me. But uh, yeah, I can just kill everything. I can prepare. I can like fear this guy. Like, oh, if he was something very dangerous, I could fear him. You know, and then get ready. So it's it's a very good strategy, especially on the later floors when stuff gets pretty scary. To to start the new floor um, with invisibility, because you can usually kill everything in the room before they even know that you're there. Um, the thing about invisibility is that if an enemy sees you and then you cast it, they will they will know where you are. So it's not it, it's not it's only useful if they if they don't see you yet. So the, um, it's not too uh, it's very hard to use in other situations. And I think that's all I want to talk about the seeker. So I think this will conclude the uh, seeker tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it. Again, my name is Lucky Luck Luke. I uh, hope you guys have a grand day. And you catch me live on Twitch TV slash Lucky Luck Luke 2 if you are checking out Twitch channels. So feel free to stop by. And I hope you enjoyed the video. You guys have a great day. See ya.